Okay. Okay, so we're in Wokenham. Some of the cutest little cottages in Wokenham. It's unbelievable. I bet they're quite a cute price as well. Okay. Ooh, it's a nice one there. Look at these. Lovely. There. Right, sorry. <laughs> I'm off to the chassis. Yeah. I'll take you with me where I can and I'll do a little haul in a bit. First up, Oxfam. Let's see what they got.
machine table and I'm not one of those stalls. the last 
last two and I haven't been able to film some music. Let's go across the road quick. Uh, let's stop see. Yes. Tom would kill me if I came back with this. So I do like them though. I don't know why I like them. Oh my god. Something needs to stop me. That one's more like a hospital chair. Right. Let's go and see what there is to. Oh, look, there's this OTA things. Hmm. Oh, it's all the football stuff in there.
school. I was pretty restrained in working them. Uh, I think, yeah, I'm not desperate for stock by any means. So I, I'm quite happy to be, well, I'm picky in some things. Picky, not necessarily picky for like fantastic profit, but picky because, for either profit or because I'll just enjoy handling something and selling something. Um, so that's kind of just indulging myself really. So I'll show you what I picked up in Wokingham. I left some things that you might think, oh, why don't you get that? Uh, oh, I've been into town today, just into Reading Town Centre, had my ears hoovered, it was amazing. And uh, I've got a couple of bits actually, which I'll show you from that. Now I'm assuming, I've paid up for this really, I think, four pounds. Uh, that this is a mid-century bottle holder, bottle stand. Um, you know where the spout goes through there. And it's got these little rubbery, assuming it's mid-century. Um, I'll have to investigate selling that. I also got this for a squid because it's covered metal, because I love it. Um, and it's yellow and that's useful. Probably is, uh, no, it's probably a desk tidy, isn't it? I was thinking all knives and forks or something, but that's not, I don't know where I'm going to put it yet. I keep buying covered wire things and I just, I mean, that could go in a drawer. It's just useful, isn't it? I can't, it was a squid. So yeah, I'll have to get that. Oops. Uh, right, there were some bits that you might have been thinking, oh, why don't you get that? There was the pink lampshade that was all kind of uh, chiffon all gathered. The, it did have fringing, but it wasn't like those little fluffy, it was, it was different fringing and it was £12 and I just, was someone an R ring and I thought, hmm, I ended up leaving it. If it had, if it had been a different pattern or maybe more, because that was kind of more ladies boudoir style. It was more of a funky retro pattern i think i would have been more i'd have been happier to grab it so i left that um also in that shop there were some really good condition pimpernel placemats um some tally ho ones but they were eight pounds and i felt that was a bit too much uh, fine for if you're buying them for yourself a bit too much um on the profit margin um and then in a later shop there was i don't I was filming this or not, but there was a typewriter, an Olivetti uh, old typewriter, and I was faffing around with that, and it there was something sticking up, and the, I couldn't get the uh, return to go across. Um, and then I decided I couldn't be asked, basically, so I left that. Um, there was some Clarin stuff. I still love Clarins, and had I would have just picked that up for myself. It was twelve pounds, but I would have picked that up for myself if I'd have could have made use of all the bits but um lots of things i wouldn't use so i left that um and on to the bits that i did pick up so i got this isn't the correct box for this but it's a ceramico is it made in england yeah made in england uh brooch it's oh yeah ceramic obviously that one's a that's a dragon or is it a welsh dragon a dragon anyway i had one with a horse on which did have its original box which sold like immediately when i put it on so i went for that anyway it was three quid but none of the other one sold really easily so i've got that um a couple more on the jewelry front on oh, no, a few more actually um this is just a scarf clip which i wouldn't usually bother picking up but occasionally i do sell scarf clips individually and this was 50p and it's got nice flying ducks on so that's why I got that scarf clip uh from the same shop I got another I've got one of these on at the moment a Moda made in Malta handmade in Malta cuff bangle uh what did I pay for that I think I paid oh there we go one pound fifty these are nice that is nice and another one pound fifty this was where was this from Thames Hospice and I like this because it looked like um, something out of a licorice all sorts thing. And it has got the British Museum label on it. So I'm guessing that will, might help itself. So 
and one pound fifty. A couple of this is me indulging myself. A couple of purses, which you know, I don't. I suppose it's a bit like I try to stop myself picking up bags. I still go back and pick up blooming bags. Cert, I mean, most bag. I think certain bags are going to sell. A lot of bags. I guess people have a lot of bags, and I just find them difficult to get shot of. Purses are pretty much the same. Everyone, you've got, you know, usually you've got a purse, and but I can't stop picking them up. However, at least these ones are smaller. They'll only go for like a tenner each anyway. So this one's a little fossil. So it was quite a cutie. How much was that? One pound forty nine. It only go for tenner, but looking like a good squeeze by is a large letter. So. It's all right, it's like picking up a little brooch or something for me. And this one is, I mean, it's lush, isn't it? Look at the colours, Welsh Tapestry. And that one was £2. Again, I think it's like a tenner. Um, yeah, it's really nice. Nice and clean inside as well. So, yeah, it's just me indulging myself, really. And then, you probably all know that I sell Harry Potter sets. Well, I haven't sold any in ages actually, but I am going to be selling them again. And in fact, I've got a stockpile of them and I just haven't put them into sets. So I probably ought to get on with that. I've just been buying them as a um, you know, hardback Bloomsbury's as a find as I see them. Uh, so chuffed to bits to find uh, these fat ones were two pounds each. So all of the Phoenix, half blood prints. And I've got, I've got a Deathly Hallows somewhere. So these were in and this other, I mean, they're, Apart from the tiny bit of sun fading, lovely condition. Often I open these up. Well, sometimes I've you know seen water damage, tearing, te torn pages, you know, writing inside. But these are lovely. Look like they've possibly been read once. But this was the amazing thing. They were two quid each. I couldn't believe my luck. A four set for a fiver. Uh, mental yeah it's a bloomsbury all bloomsbury's a fiver for hardback bloomsbury's <laughs> and uh there was a young girl kind of seemed to be volunteering in the shop who said oh i didn't think they'd hang around for long and i was like yeah and as i was leaving she went oh enjoy i went oh yeah so well thank you um yeah it's chuffed to bits with that because with these other two i've, I've i can put an, a nice condition deathly hallows with it i know they're still going for about 200 quid um on ebay at the moment but i might trouble is i keep thinking shall i or oh, you know leave that to close to christmas and you'll get more money but i can't a i can't list everything in time for christmas like in the space of a month just for q4 and b i'm putting stuff on thinking well i'll get it on but it's probably going to sell nearer to christmas the long the short of whatever i'm trying to say is they're in lovely condition. I might sit them on for two fifty, but they might wait till near Christmas time. I don't know. When I used to sell them regularly, they always used to go to either the US or Germany. I don't know what the postage cost to US are like at the moment, but yeah, I might go for two fifty. But yeah, I sold. Uh, what did I put on the other day? Uh, a Chrome Fireside Companion, and I was kind of thinking this is the wrong time of year to be sticking this on. But I went through a bit of a, if it's not on, if it's not listed, people can't buy it, you know. So just get it on and then it's ready there for the winter. And I put it on for 30 quid and within a couple of days, I think, somebody was messaging me about it, asking about the condition of every little tiny bit. I sent them an offer. They didn't take me up on it and somebody else paid full price. So, yeah, 30 quid. Shops are good. So, yeah, there's other things like that that are selling now. I'm like, oh thought that would what christmas baubles i know that christmas baubles sell all year long so yeah i might list it i might get on and list it however it is also about to be the school holidays God, God, it's a week today so i guess if i get it on next week i mean i can still do some work when the girls are off but we'll also be off doing stuff and they'll just be everywhere and just it's gonna be more difficult to get stuff on anyway yes yeah, so i'm quite that's a little so i had a, a very little bit from the car boot a very little bit from the chances but fingers crossed 
fingers crossed I'm being choosy ish that's hopefully the last few months of sourcing has taught me what to leave behind for a change I'm still I mean I'm still but the fails in the beginning oh my god I was you know I think half of what I was picking up even though it's not like I haven't been reselling for years half of what I was picking up I was just I'd lost the plot I just was completely didn't know what I was doing anymore and I learned again really quickly so it's a car boot on tomorrow so hopefully I can I, I, one of my downfalls actually is soft toys at the moment I keep picking them up I've, I've just about got a handle on the bags of not picking them up with soft toys although I sell you know some of them are absolute corkers one sold for I'll put it on my Insta actually um, which is shells world as well but the s is a five in shells at the end um, yeah I sold one I did which I picked up on Wokeham last time which was it was a tenner in the sale but it sold today and went abroad for 60 so those are the kind of soft toys I want to find <laughs> anyway enough blubbering on um yeah i hope you enjoyed that video give me a thumbs up if you did and i'll see you soon bye bye don't die